Welcome back to how to create a job board with formidable forms. Real quick before we get into the next set of videos, which includes creating views, allowing users to edit their job listings on the front page and things like that, we need to make a couple of changes to our form. So when we set up our form, we did so using a minimalistic approach where we added only the fields we thought we needed and only the form actions that we felt we needed. That was good enough for getting up a form quickly that accepted payment, but we're going to need a few extra items here in our form for the rest of the tutorials to work properly. The first thing we're going to need to do is add an email address and possibly a name for the job poster. This is so that we can register them as a user in our system, which will allow them to make edits to their job listings after the fact. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new text field that gets added to the bottom, but we could drag it up towards the top. And we'll call that name. Make that required. And we'll call the field key username. And then similarly, we will add an email field. We'll drag that right under name and we'll make that required as well, and we'll call that email. Now we'll save the form. Now that we're collecting the name and email address, we can go ahead and set up a new form action. So we'll click settings and under settings, we'll click form actions, and that new action will be to register the user. So that's what we'll label it. The user email will be the email address. Uh, you'll notice that this list is only populated with fields that are denoted as email fields, which is very nice. The username can be automatically generated from their email address. We'll email them a link to set their own password. Their first name will be their name and the display name will be same as the username. The user role will be a contributor. And this is so that later we can set the user role for modifying the job postings to contributor instead of the lowest, which is subscriber. We can also choose to moderate this. So if we want to uh, make sure that users confirm their email address before they log in, we can do that. That's an option that we have. Uh, and then we can also choose to email the admin and things like that, but we'll keep it just like this for simplicity's sake, and we'll click update. And with those two changes, we can now proceed to the rest of the tutorial. So again, in the next video, we are going to create a view that gives us a little bit more control over the front end display of our website and make it so that users can modify their own job postings.